I'm on a trip today. Tommy has to work, my poor boy. But I don't have to, so that's nice. And my quest for today is to find Winter Wonderland. Because there is nothing in Brno, no snow whatsoever. I'm starting in a little town with a nice palace. It's just a small palace, hardly visible behind the trees. <laughs> Nevertheless, it's here and it makes the day prettier. So we'll take this. There is a bit of snow here already, which is very nice. And I'm heading to a hilly area with a big forest. So hopefully there will be more. It was snowing in the last three days, but just here and there. And the network of, you know, measurement stations where humans measure the snow is quite, like, it's not dense. And it's hard to estimate the exact amounts just from radar data. So I was just guessing in the morning where to go. Hopefully this will be good. The best thing is that it's sunny, which is very rare during winter in our area. So it's mandatory, of course, for me to go somewhere into nature and enjoy the blue skies and the sun. And if there is snow, that's a very, very nice bonus. It's frosty today, around minus three degrees Celsius. So that's great. I'm now up in the forest. There is more snow, so yay. And this place, which I just passed, is called by a little angel. So cute. There are little statues or figures of angels. According to the information that I found, there has been a wooden post with a statue of little angel since forever at that place. And it brought luck to the people that were passing by through these forests. It's time for a short break. I have tea here and I spiked it with a little bit of rum. <laughs> Maybe it will get me more into the Christmas mood. Very good. <laughs> and I also have pastries here. So that's amazing as well. <laughs> there is a little memorial stone here for the Prince Jan II of Liechtenstein. He was known for his good deeds here in the area. And it wasn't that long ago, actually. He was born in 1840 and died. Oh my God, there is a car driving by. Okay. I don't know, guys, this is so weird. Sometimes sketchy things are going on in these forests. Back to the Prince. So he was born 1840 and died in 1929. He was almost 90 years old. And he was also a big supporter of science and art. So they created this little memorial stone for him. I love that there are always stories and legends about all the places in the forest. And you feel like in a fairy tale. So guys, this is... King Peter I reporting from the Enchanted Forest. I really love the tea. I recommend. Yeah, tea with rum. Da, da, da. <laughs> this place is called by the Golden Deer. There used to be a cottage here for the people that take care of the forest, you know? And it was called Golden Deer. And it was very old. The first written mention is from 1472, which is wow. Now the cottage is gone, but it was still here in the 20th century. 
I don't know what happened. There were also soldiers hiding here during World War II. There were heavy fights, you know, between Czech soldiers and Nazi Germany here in the forests. This is so beautiful. I would give this at least 8 out of 10 for Winter Wonderland. <laughs> Best combination ever. Snow, sun, there is no wind. I'm so glad I went into these forests. And yay, I can enjoy this. It's amazing. I like that I used public transport today. The main advantage is that I don't have to do a loop. I don't have to return to the point where I started. I took a train and then a bus that took me to the southern side of the forest. And now I'm walking through the forest and I will end up on the northern side. And I can adjust my route as I want to because there is train like going on the northern side there are more stops there so it's great there are little mining sites here where they mine petroleum or petrol i don't know how you call it just a small amount and i think small amounts of natural gas as well so that's quite interesting because it's not common at all in our country but in this area there are quite a lot of them just very small mining sites but many of them there is more snow in this part of the forest it must have been snowing stronger so you can see how difficult it is to estimate the exact amount of snow in various parts of the area <laughs> when there are no measurements this is so beautiful guys i can't even Looks like my quest for finding Winter Wonderland is very successful. Yay! It's a shame that the days are so short. It's getting dark at 4 p.m. already. We are getting close to the winter solstice. So, of course, the days are short. But I would love to stay here longer and enjoy this. <laughs> because it's so amazing. I am now at the highest peak of the forest and this place is called By a Hen. <laughs> Such an interesting name, but there is a reason behind this, of course, there is a story. There was a man in the past that got lost here in the forest and he was so tired that he fell asleep under the tree here and all of a sudden there was a noise, a hen woke him up and he realized there is a big wild boar coming at him 
so the hen saved him because he was able to escape or something. And now the place is called by a hen. And I absolutely love my rum tea. Guys, this is amazing. It warms me up quite well, so cheers. <laughs> The sun is going to set. <laughs> so sad. I still have like three or four kilometers to go. And I decided to change my original route. And I'm going to another train station that is closer. So again, advantage of public transport. You can sometimes discover a fairy tale like spring in the forest, like this one. It's potable water, so you can drink it. And there are even mugs ready for you, <laughs> so you have something to drink from. It's so cute. It's getting dark quite quickly, but I'm almost at the train station in this tiny village. The trains go every half an hour, which is amazing. I have an app in my phone, so I bought a ticket in like five seconds. And then it will take an hour and I will be home. There is Christmas atmosphere everywhere in this village. Yay, I like it. 